number two from Europe, Rory McIlroy. Playing his seventh Ryder Cup. Awesome. Take this on and end up on that down slope, as they mentioned. So just bunting it forward. This needs to hang on. That's okay. Loads behind this, and it will stop quick pitching on an upslope to Fleetwood. Back. Two putts to win the hole up ahead at the green for Rory McIlroy, who went two from two yesterday. Going to take both, but it's all he needed. And Europe go one up through one in the opening match. for Fleetwood now it might be the mini driver which is basically a brassy an old two a two wood it's a fairway finder I think he likes it shot down to two with Justin Thomas it's not a bad lie Eddie. it's okay have to dig for a fraction. As long as it comes out straight, it will chase. Join the 400 meter dash. A knuckleball. Really unlucky to hit that sprinkler there. That would have gone right up within 10 feet. That was an incredible shot from Thomas. You talk about risk. Fleetwood pin high here, about 30 feet to the right of the flag. Got a little bit of, good to see Jones Clark just roll in there in the, I mean, right in the middle up there, really. U.S. two down quickly, this first match. Fleetwood Mac continue to just dominate this week, my goodness. Smith was more on the side slopes, it wasn't easy. But that was a big miss, now yeah, Fleetwood just looking through the center once more, maybe hold this one. He's a right hand flag, so he can deal with that. Straight out to the yeah. Extraordinary stuff from the Europeans. Just so dominant. And look almost certain to go three up after three. Now, morning foursomes. Back to Justin Thomas at the third. Yeah, he's had many practice swings. Grain is strong into him. Loads of green to play with, but this is quite difficult. He really needs to hit this hard enough to get it there. Magnificent shot. That's a cracker, Sam. Just ran on, not annoyingly. 12 feet for par. Two brilliant shots to hear. Nice drive from McElroy. Good second from Fleetwood. This to win the hole. To go three up through three. Oh. Unsure how that stayed out as we welcome Andrew Beef Johnston to the commentary box. Strong start ahead uh, already for Europe. It's exactly what they would have wanted. I mean, it's on the green. And that's a good one. Still slight advantage, Europe there. Slightly too easier putt. 
this for the fourth win in a row for Rory McIlroy Effort that will probably be conceded, and the Americans left in another four footer for the half to stop going four down. Yeah, ball's picked up immediately. It's a good through the sort of first cut around the greens, but it's pretty much like a surface that most golf clubs has as their putting surfaces. So it's they're not difficult, but you get the wrong first or second bounce, you can leave it certainly well eight foot pass or ten or twelve foot. Short if you're an undercook it. I believe it's like probably what, two feet below the level of the green. Looks like That's it's going aerial. Yeah, I think you'll be pitching up somewhere close to the front. <laughs> oh, absolutely delightful, Tommy. Delightful. We go to Justin Thomas at five. Really poor part of the par three four for Thomas, so he needs something on the greens, putting into the morning sun as well. A little bit further mentally than I think he would have thought. I possibly need this down the hill, just breaking away. Fair play, fair play. That is a really good putt there from Justin Thomas, and a great heart, great guts. Back to the sixth. Well, no drop alley, as we all thought. This is a hack out at best. Wow. Oh, I hit it. Ball hit me too. He actually kicked that, didn't he? Where is it? It's right here. Is it? Sandwich. Have a look here. We think he kicks it after he hits it. So tough to get it out. There it is. Always oh, stood on it, yeah. Third shot. Oh! Europe on the fairway in one. America's on in three. Europe two up. Through that for Bogey. Over to McElroy. Just slightly on the upslope, Ali. Not a problem from here. Decent green to play with, really. Just needs to make sure he gets it in pin eye and doesn't miss it long left. Parr wins the hole. <laughs> at least two from there to win the hole. We'll go back to three up. They just need to ease off it a little bit, get it floating a little bit. It will come out pretty hot once it hits this deck. sort of the anchor to this team right now. He cannot get any sort of rhythm and enforce him. Man, it's really hard to kind of change the tide for yourself when you're hitting every other shot. Yeah, really difficult format beef, isn't it? To, to, to try and find that momentum. Yeah, it, it is. And like Hunter said, if if your partner's not quite on it, you can't physically change it. And you're relying on both guys sort of really being steady and that's why hitting a lot of fairways of course and hitting a lot of greens you don't have to do anything special and make eight nine birdies but you need to be in play every hole Anthony yeah back back tee today 216 down the hill playing about half a dozen down pin is in the middle of the green but it's it's got a narrow slither sits just a fraction across the player so it is a tough target to find pin looks in the middle of the green and it looks fairly easy but the players are going to be trying to draw it in and if you just overturn it slightly you're down that bank and you've got really difficult chip shot great great touch little change up in the commentary box as we welcome dominic hollier right on in morning dom thank you alison and what a morning it is absolutely sparkling out there beginning to warm up a little bit it was chilly first thing as we go to tommy fleetwood and this birdie putt at the seventh 
Such a nice leave. Might just turn right to left at the end, but so little in this. Just up the hill for Fleetwood. To the seventh once again. Well, this is the best way for Jordan to get back on track here is to make a putt, make a birdie putt. This is where he's, one of his great strengths is. He's an incredible green reader. Yeah, spot on. It just wants to just nudge right on him, though. And then with the shadow there, right by the hole. Just adds a little stress to this. I mean, really an awful time. I mean, that looked like it was way left from the start. I'm not sure what he was looking at there. It, it looked like it was pulled immediately. ...of the United States in terms of the no, whole Tommy. context of this match. Fuck. And Tommy does not like that. Apologies for the language. That's down the left-hand side, and there's thick rough down there on eight. Right. Go, and we've seen already yesterday how tough it is to go for that green from that sort of position. This whole third shot now, Tommy Fleetwood. 1-1-7 to go. I think this is a pin that will suit, suit your eye, hitting a wedge in here. You've got a little backstop, the slope to the right. Lots, lots of room where you can kind of fire it in. Good shot. Yeah, I think, I think. Let's not forget Brooks Kepka up ahead, Spieth and his third. <laughs> Bang on a hundred yards. Yeah. Lovely shot. I mean, not to be dramatic, but is this a must-make here, Beef? I mean, it's like they have to make everything inside of 10 feet now. You always have them situations where I think just someone's going to be standing over this putt, and it has so much importance on the way this game's going to pan out. 100%. Pretty simple in the bowl for Thomas. Completely different putt to McElroy's. It's very hard to really judge the two, but this is, well, pretty simple, quite true for two great putters. Issue with this tee shot. So maybe just take a little bit off this. Easily reach it in two, him and Tommy Fleetwood. This is an important it's fairway sure. find, I think. Oh, stuff. Right, be brave enough to pitch it left of the flag. If not, just under the hole to the right will be fine. It's quite a nice one to hit straight at the flag with a wedge like that, you know, it comes off the, if you hit it a bit left, comes off the right, hit it a bit right, you can get a spin and it's going to feed into the pin. It's quite accessible. So we go to the first. At the tenth, Justin Thomas. Yeah, up the hill. Just on the 200 mark. It's a green you just want to find, I think, really. Yeah, it's a pin you, you look at. Yes, it's in the centre, but it's a... It's a small target, really. You have to pitch this all the way. It will fall back a good 30 yards. Slide up slope, which does help, but it also means you might float it. Seen a few balls come up short, short this week. Up there from Thomas. Anthony, what's Rory's lie like? It's actually not too bad. Because I just finished a music bar, Sam. <laughs> what was I thinking? Music bar up a hill this steep, anyway. Not a bad lie, 158. If I wanted anyone to play this shot out the rough, it would be Rory.
That's down in the first of the two bunkers over there. That one is deep. It'll be the, over the head of uh, Tommy Fleetwood over there, Ali Whitaker, Sam Torrance, and Andrew Beef Johnston in the commentary box. All from Dom Hollier and a uh, massive crew. As the day progresses, they're three up in this match. Out of position, though, down at the 10th. It's been a bit like that, this game. You know, when you think one's going to go ahead, one side has made a slight mistake, and then vice versa. Two putts to, to win the hole here. Just going to... I was going to say just lag it in, and then I thought it was just going to knock it in. I was waiting to see what was, what was happening there. <laughs> So the margin back to just the two up for Europe. And a couple of fighters, these two. Obviously, they won't give up. You never give up. Boy at 11. He'll have a flow to this. He won't leave anything behind. He'll pitch it on there. Feels like this hole in the fifth is almost suited to him, where he can hit three wood at five. Launch a driver here. Come on. Line looks okay. Yeah. I think it maybe drifting a bit right. No, no, look at this. Look at this shot from Michael Wright. Just lost the last hole. It looks a great shape to get it back there. But for Eagle, USA in the bunker. Bunker or rough, not sure. From one of them. I fade. I mean, it's, it's incredible. And then to knock in the putt as well is also incredible. What a two up the 11th hole. That takes that takes Europe back to three up in that game. Cool, listen to the roar. This goes in. Eagle, eagle. Eagle at 11, eagle at 12. Tough to beat. Oh, Scotty from McElroy there, just get out of the way. It's not. Let the Americans have a go at the putt to tie. Spieth putting is usually a beautiful putter, but this has to go in or they're going to be four down. Well, just Huge TV down the left-hand side, Sam, and did not look at it, didn't flinch. Spieth, this is right to left, just gently all the way. Does have his name written all over this one. When he's on form, he rolls these in for fun. The fans, the players are all starting to believe. He needs to take a chance, outside chance. But it is about a, a half a cup left to right. There's the fire they need. Some stretch of holes this goal. They've gone 30, Eagle, 30. Both teams four under for the last three. of this Ryder Cup, and no, it is not Friday, it is Saturday. And a big moment in the top match as well. This is a putt to win the hole, but two may well be enough. Yeah, up the slope and down through the, through the different grain changes. It's not given this as a two putt. Oh, yeah. Who needs two? Could be a one. Oh, what a fine effort from Jordan Speed. Jordan has really gained momentum. I feel like for himself through the putter, right? Justin Thomas has been striking it so well today. And, and with each putt, Jordan's gaining a little bit of confidence, and that's how he can turn his game around because he's going to have to hit some big shots coming down the stretch here. I agree with you there, Anthony. That was a really tough putt. Uphill into the grain, downhill, down grain. Really, really tough to get the pace. Up there, then it starts to go down. You can see the difference in the, the color of the grass. That's the grain. That's a superb putt. Like Hunter says, uh, Jordan's got his eye in. You can see that now. And when he does that, he can hold him from anywhere. 
That's why both players have had a look. It is a tricky one. Well, is it just sloping away from them, the back of this green? Yeah, just, just a fraction between the two slopes from front left to sort of middle right. It's just a sea of people around this green. I don't think I've ever seen so many people sitting on a hill. There's so many natural features here this week. Fantastically, three wood up the middle. Tommy hits it to 25 feet. Rory rolls it in. Brilliant. Back to two up. Playing the 16th now. Do you know Rory's been quite quiet over the first couple of days at times, and then suddenly I'm thinking about the tee shot at 17 yesterday. Moments, big moments. He's come up with it. But look at look at the emotion there. Both Tommy and uh, Tommy and and Rory walking off the green arm in arm, high five, slap, and they know, they know that's a huge putt. Yeah, that's they, a huge putt. They know the importance of this match for the U.S. squad. If they, the U.S. squad thinking we got a one down, we can maybe squeak out a point here. We can kind of split this morning, get some momentum. They know that if we can just, I mean, we could basically end the Ryder Cup probably is what they're thinking with this win. Look at the raw emotion there. Look, unbelievable. Look at... Here's a better view from here. You got a chance to watch the crowd, they're watching. Is it getting there? Is it getting there? It's shy of pace, downhill. Look at that. They know how, they know how important the top matches are, always are. Fantastic. Look at that, wow. <laughs> Do you think he enjoyed that, Hunter, eh? Oh, he knew how oh, big that goodness. was, Oh my goodness, he right? knew that was big. I mean, he hasn't really hit it very good today, but he can get it back. Just a smooth one, looking down the left speed. Come on, come on. Love that play. Yeah, I like that play as well. I think that play's fantastic. I think three woods. I thought, I actually thought Tommy would have drawn it. The driver was, was a little bit too much club. Um, especially to that front pin, front uh, the front left flag. So I would say that was almost advan advantage uh, USA there. I mean, they're fighting for everything, right? Every point you have to fight for in a Ryder Cup, and there's just, you know, why not make him putt it? What's the point of just giving it to him? Smith had that period, didn't he, where he used to look at the hole on putts of this length. No problem at all. Right center, just get it started. Big, big hole for America there. You know, we know that we know the 17 and 18 have got drama involved, so this 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 match is in the balance. All the vice captains, America getting involved. Just steady yourself and focus on the job in hand for Rory. Huge, I mean my gosh. What a putt. What a putt. Yes, McElroy does it again at 17, and that is another point on the board for Team Europe. Eight and a half to two and a half now, with a two and one victory for he and Fleetwood over Justin Thomas and Jordan Speed. And the importance of that bottom match now just ratchets it up a little bit more, doesn't it? from Tommy Fleetwood. <laughs> Thank you, boss. Thank you so much. Sorry. That's a, that's a good pairing, those two. I mean, that is a tough, that is a tough pairing. And that makes it three points out of three for McElroy. talked about the importance of your big players playing well and they all have generally speaking for the Europeans he dug deep and found one on 15 he did it again on 17 McElroy this was very brave doesn't go in the one down the last 
absolutely. I mean, and, and Tommy's wondering, what have I just done to myself? What have, we, what have I done to this team? To watch another Ryder Cup video, click here and subscribe here.